Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about Batgirl because um, they released the image mural of Batman and Robin, and they already have a few actors, I believe, is rumored to be, you know, in Batgirl with um, Batman, Michael Keaton's Batman. And I gotta say, I think this Batgirl movie is probably a dumb idea. And listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying before we get crazy. Because it's not only not only is it supposed to be part of the DCEU, which makes no logical sense. We're bringing in Tim Burton's Batman into the universe, which you know how I feel about that. Um, Cause I know how some people were like, so, you know how some people are like, oh, it's nostalgia baiting, it's bringing back an old classic Batman. And that's great and all, that's fine that they're bringing back Tim Burton's Batman, you know, Michael Keaton's Batman. But at the cost of ruining the Tim Burton Batman movies, you get what I'm saying? Cause Tim Burton Batman movies, just like with the Joel Sh uh, Schumacher movies or whatever, they're all in their own universe already. You know what I mean? And yes, the Flash can merge them, but I don't need, I don't want the Flash to merge um, the Tim Burton Batmans to the DCEU. You know what I mean? You already have a DCEU Batman. Ben Affleck, I don't care. You, you can find a replacement for, for him, to be honest, if you really want to. You know, um, get somebody that looks like Ben Affleck, get the stunt double, and ask, just ask Ben Affleck to do close-ups if you got to do something. But don't don't label this Batgirl movie as a DCEU movie because it's not. It shouldn't be a DCEU movie if we're going to take on. I mean, if we're going to have Michael Keaton and Batman as Batman in that universe, you know what I'm saying? It because think about how Spider-Man Home um, No Way Home did when they brought all three Spider um, when they brought the other two Spider-Man in there. What didn't happen is they didn't merge any character from the previous Spider-Man movies into the world afterwards or whatever, or during the movie or whatever. And that it will be the fault of the Flash movie and this Batgirl movie because you don't need you don't need to merge a previous characteristic of a of a character from another universe into you know DC especially when if you if you really wanted a character that came from another earth that can permanently have a residency in present time though what the most famous character is Power Girl from DC comic books where she is from another earth her earth got destroyed and she kind of went over to the main continuity and called it a day her and Black Canary are like literally the only two characters that are like you know hey we're from another universe and we're gonna live in this one i mean like the the ones that most people are very aware of does that make sense you know what i mean so it's kind of weird like you would do that with batman and take batman from another universe and then merge it with the dceu when you have a batman warner brothers and i don't understand how stupid you guys are being to be honest like you like marvel had had a single batman that they knew they were going to work with and you guys ruined the opportunity with ben affleck to where he doesn't want to return okay fine recast then but don't don't drag michael keaton's batman into this nonsense because it doesn't it doesn't make logical sense it really doesn't because i'm trying to figure out why would you take the Tim Burton's Batman and merge him with the DCEU? For what reason? You know what I mean? Like, is he going back to his Earth or something like that, or or what? You know? And because we see we see that we saw the mural, and to be honest, I'm not even going to sit up here and lie to you. If it's not a Tim Burton Batman, like if it's not the sequel to the Tim Burton's Batman, and it's out and it's outside of the DCEU. I will watch it, but if it's not outside of DCEU, I mean, if it's inside the DCEU, I have no, I, I, I will not acknowledge this movie. I'm not going to lie to you. No, I'm not acknowledging stupidity from, from Warner Brothers at this point. I, I can't keep giving the benefit of the doubt. I can't keep giving a studio a chance at trying to do something new or different because y'all choose to be stupid, you know? 
you had a Batman, you had a Superman, you didn't really use them, but then you want me to be like, oh, can you give this Bat that this Bat girl a chance? But we're gonna bring in Michael Keaton. You guys love Michael Keaton. Yeah, I like Michael Keaton too, but his time has passed as Batman. And if you're not gonna do Batman Beyond with him, I don't want to see a version of Batman Beyond bastardized by dragging Batgirl into it, which not even a real Batgirl. You know what I'm saying? So no, I I I'm already halfway out. Well, I'm I'm like ninety I'm like ninety nine point nine percent out to be honest. But I think if you want to correct this choice, make sure that this Batman this Batgirl is not part of the DCEU. Don't put it in DCEU. Because it's not part of the DCEU. Just like the Joker and Robert Patterson's Batman is their own thing. Batgirl is the sequel to Tim Burton's um, Batman movies. Yeah. That's how you do that. You can you can still do the dark and gritty atmosphere of the Tim Burton universe. It's not that hard. It, it, it's, not, it's not that hard. But if you think you're going to merge the Michael... You think you're going to merge Michael Keaton's Batman into the DCEU, nah, you got another fucking thing coming, to be honest, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Michael Keaton, um, Batman needs to be his own Batman, we already got, we already got a Batman, DCEU Batman, Ben Affleck, or, um, his stunt double, or whoever you want, whoever you want, his stand-in, whoever you need to have, that's Batman, you know, or you find an actor that looks like Ben Affleck, because there, there are some. Get his brother, Casey Affleck, if you got to. I don't care. But not Michael Keaton. Not Michael Keaton. Because it, it just, it, it, it's such a contradiction. And if that's the case, that means the Flash movie is going to be true. And if the Flash movie is going to be true, then you already know I'm out. I ain't even going to sit up here and lie to y'all. I, 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 I can't. I can't do it. I, I, I walked away from Marvel. I walked away from the MCU. And I will definitely walk away from the DCEU. I have no problem walking away from it. Because <sighs> I haven't watched a Marvel movie. Haven't watched a Marvel movie since um, Spider-Man. Spider-Man is literally Spider-Man and Venom. And those aren't even MCU movies. They're Sony's. The only thing is Spider-Man was set in the MCU. Other than that, mm-mm. Uh-uh. I, I, <laughs> and I stopped watching, I stopped watching the MCU the MCU shows after Falcon and Winter Soldier. I was like, nah, I see where I see where this is going. So I, again, I have no problem walking away from these these comic book movie universes. I have no problem because if I can't get what I need from from them, on to the next one. To be honest, there are some there are some um, old classic cartoon shows, and there are still some old classic movies that I can watch and get way more enjoyment out of this present bullshit, to be honest. Because I'm I'm tired, to be honest, and I, I'm, I'm aggravated that the fans demanded more from um, Batflick. WB wanted to be jackasses and made his experience horrible on the set. Then, you want to take Michael Keaton's Batman and try to merge it with the DCEU to kind of create this makeshift um, Batgirl movie when that doesn't even make any logical sense to the Batgirl story. You're not even properly even doing the story correctly. And, and, and what? I'm supposed to be like, yay, this is a great idea. No, it's not a great idea. It's a dumb idea. It's a dumb idea. I'm sorry. It really is. Then Batgirl look up, don't don't look like Batgirl. Ain't got nobody to first. Like I like what the hell y'all want me to do? That's a 12-year-old trying to pretend to be a trying to pretend to be Batgirl. The closest we had to Batgirl was Alicia Silverstone's Batgirl. And I bet you after this movie. Still, will be Alicia Silverstone's Batgirl is probably the gonna be the be the better live action Batgirl, and I bet you, I bet you Alicia Silverstone's Batgirl costume is gonna be more accurate than the bullshit that DC the supposedly DCEU Batgirl is gonna pull off. I mean, 
And there were some problems with Barbara Keene. I mean, not Barbara Keene, but um, um, Barbara Wilson being the niece of Alfred, having blonde hair. That's about it. Uh, that, yeah, that's that's really about it. You know, and not being the not being um, I guess not being the most tech savvy. I, I think she was very tech sa savvy. You know, when we when we realized that at the oh snap, woo, Ooh, that was close. <clears throat> at the end of the day, you know what I mean. So it's one of those kind of things. But you know, we have to see. We definitely will have to see, but I don't know. I I, I really don't know. I can't I, I I can't really say that I'm I'm for it because I'm I'm so against these changes that I don't I I know how you know some people like just try to give it a chance, but it's just like no, no, I'm not gonna give it a chance. I'm really not. I, I I'm I'm about I'm about aggravated with when people keep trying to tell somebody just give it a chance. Just you know. Don't judge it before. No, I'm gonna judge the fuck out of it, uh, out the shit. From what I'm seeing, it, no, it looked like hot trash to be honest. No, fuck. What the hell y'all mean? Give it a damn chance. Did they give? Did they give us? Did they give the fans who um a chance who actually wanted more from Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, and I guess Zack Snyder? If you want to throw in that, no, you didn't. You tossed it aside. So guess what? I'm gonna toss this bitch aside too. Like no, I'm not. I'm not giving it. I, I know I'm not giving the Batman a chance. I'm not giving the Penguin a chance. I'm not giving back the Batgirl a chance. Because from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing trash. I'm seeing trash from all sides. To be honest, the Batman with Robert Pattinson looks like sevens and numbers put together and merged into a, a semi Batman movie. And you're trying to call it Batman. Oh my God! Look at how cool they, they look. They, they don't even they don't even look like Batman and Catwoman. The only person who looks anywhere like their character is the Penguin. And now he's in a spinoff show. And then they better they better do one with Gotham P, um, PD as well. With the with the black the black Jim Gordon. What? And now I got. I got Dominican, Dominican black Batgirl coming for Batgirl again. I mean, what, 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 what the hell? What the hell? Oh, and then we're going to get rid of Batman and Superman for, for Batgirl and Supergirl. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh boy. Even more. And, 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 and we're possibly going to kill off the DCEU Batman and let Michael Keaton's Batman take over. Oh, oh my, oh my God, that sounds, that sounds amazing. No, no, it doesn't. It, it really doesn't sound amazing at all. It sounds terrible. It sounds real terrible, to be honest. And I, and I have absolutely no interest in in pursuing this franchise anymore you know unless discovery figure out a way to to change the bullshit because they can always cancel i, I don't know how i don't know how why some y'all think that they can't possibly once they get once the merger happened discovery can cancel everything on the slate just because it got approved by wb previously don't mean that it can't get canceled there has been movies that has been in production and they were filming it when the studio said, nah, we're done. God. God, God in heaven. <laughs> Discovery. Discovery. Hurry up, merge, and, you know, retool the Batgirl. If you, please retool the Batgirl. Because I can already tell you, this ain't going to work. And retool the Flash. Because I think that's probably why they pushed it back. Because of the nonsense that was going on. Because they, they probably tested it um, and to see what was going on. And if the Batgirl's trying to go off of that that um, that spoiler bull crap that we heard about, nah, I ain't for it. I ain't for it. I ain't even going to sit up here and lie to you. I am not going to be for it at all. 
But yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think. Comment below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.